Assistant Public Defender Natalie Pate with and on behalf of Mr. Lee, who stands to my right. Please state your name for the record, sir. Don Lee. All right. Hey, where are we on this case? Thank you, Your Honor. This is a driver's license case, that, and I have discussed this with Mr. Lee. He will be accepting the offer extended to plead the MCL 257.326. So, Your Honor, I'd move to add count two of MCL 257.326, allowing an ineligible person to drive. You accept that guilty plea to add count two. I move to dismiss count one. Raise your hand. Raise your right hand. You solemnly swear and affirm the testimony you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth shall be God. Yes. State your name. Don Lee. This court's understanding you're going to plead guilty to the charge of allowing an ineligible driver to operate a motor vehicle. That's a misdemeanor, punishable by up to 90 days, $100 fine plus court cost. You understand that, sir? Yes, sir. And understanding all that, still wish to plead guilty? Yes. And to that charge, how do you plead? Guilty. On the date of October. Or February 10th, 2024, Michigan Road near Moon Road, Pittsfield Township, Washington County, State of Michigan. Did you have custody or control of a motor vehicle? Yes. Did you allow someone who is otherwise ineligible to operate that motor vehicle? Yes. Counsel, have I complied with the court rule? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Court will accept the defendant's plea of no of guilty to count two. Count one is dismissed. Anything you want to say before I impose sentence? Just very, very briefly, Your Honor, Mr. Lee is asking that the court consider sentencing him to time served. I do acknowledge he wasn't arraigned on this case until September 19th and only has nine days credit, albeit he was not being held on this case. Um, outside of that, I just leave it in your court's discretion. Anything you want to say, Mr. Lee? And I just wanted to get this over with and keep him going. Keep him you, you come back on that other thing tomorrow. Is it tomorrow? Well, he's up on the 8th. On the 8th. For exam, Your Honor. I'm just trying to recall when I put you into custody, did we set an exam? Is that what yes, we did? Yes, exam is on the 8th. Before me? No, it's before just first. Okay. All right, I'll take a look at that because I just. All right. I think I have a file out there. Did the court have a question I could help with? Well, I put him into custody, but I I know I told him I was going to take a look at that on the, the remand into custody on it, because it came as a result of a police report regarding something else happening. Yes, um, it was because there is a new case that is coming down the pipe, um, to which Miss Blanche said that he was the warrant was going to be authorized that day, I believe. Mr. Lee advises and. I don't see anything to contradict that. He hasn't been arraigned on that new charge yet, however. But the two ones that he was in front of your honor for last week for PCC are set for exam, both cases in front of Judge Burke on October 8th. He's represented by Sam Bernstein in one and the public defenders in the other. Okay. So my question becomes where the, all right, that's right. That, re, that refreshes my memory. Where is where are where's that other case because the thing i'm not asking okay you don't know um i know i ain't been arranged on it no i know but i'm trying because so you're i don't know did i change his bond on i did change his bond on that he was supposed to then be arraigned on the other case but that case was supposed to get, there was supposed to be a timing on that case to get down. So I remanded him. He was going to be held on these cases, on the ones that are set for exam. And then that other case was going to come down, expected that he might be in on that case. But if that case hasn't come down, I'm not going to be very happy right now. Yes, to my understanding, Your Honor, he has not been arraigned on that new case, but his the two cases that are already set for exam in front of Judge Burke, currently his bond is 15000 on each of those cases. Correct. Was, I, I get that. What? You raised, it was a PR bond and you raised it up. I put it up because of the representation of these other cases, but those other cases were supposed... What's the status of that other case? Um, Your Honor, absolutely, for people on behalf of other matters. So, if 
if I'm reading this correctly, other cases was a resisting and obstructing case that was supposed to be coming down. Is that, Ms. Page, is that correct? I don't think that that was, it was involving a car accident and some other stuff. I don't know the exact charges that were to be authorized, but I know the incident date was before the ones that are currently set for exam. Right. That being said, I I, I know. Yeah. I listen. Where is that case? Because my problem here is is that, and Mr. Lee is certainly not always the most cooperative person in the world, and he knows that. And but he got remanded because his other case was coming down. Correct. And so I'm trying to, and I think there was a representation that it had been signed off or it was someplace. And the expectation was that case was going to get sworn out while in custody, he'd be arraigned. And then there would be, based upon the facts of that case, a bond set that was likely or may have, I won't say, I can't say for sure, may have kept him in custody, which is why I did what I did. That was my understanding, Your Honor. I just, I just need a little bit more information. Go, look. Um, go. So I want to understand, Mr. Lee was last before the court for PCCs. The court is saying on the 26th or the 18th. I think it was a week ago, wasn't it? I think it was the 20. I think it six. was the 26th. He was before me. I have some, some help helping right now. So the, the, the new case, which does appear to be related to fleeing, uh, fleeing and looting charges, dated. Date of incident 829 It appears that case was authorized, signed by my office on 926. And I don't see that's what that's that's what was indicated to the court on the record. That it was signed off on 926. But then it was, then there was a representation that it was going to get sworn to. It was signed off by your office. I think that's what was represented to me. It was going to get sworn to so that Mr. Lee could be arraigned on. My understanding is that Magistrate Fink signed that case on September 30th. It is likely. Uh, well, then why hasn't he been arraigned? I'm not sure you are. It may be in a stack of things that are waiting to be entered. That's not happening. Oh, I don't know no, that, that will happen. not happen. Miss. Can you tell me what the jurisdiction is? <laughs> yes. It's not. It's, it's, it's not Ypsilanti in. City. It's Ypsilanti City. Um, it's a city case. No, I, it's I it, a, it's a sheriff's day. office. It's a sheriff's office arrest that occurred in Ypsilanti City. I show with the 14B. Okay, so it's on the line. It, it said the swear out was on the 30th. Yeah. I have a police officer. Right? Oh, really? Yes, that helps. That's so, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Is that what the log notes indicate? Yes. So, there are no charges? Correct. It says court does not find trouble with the cause. Okay. <laughs> okay. Just uh, hold. Hold. That's what it says? Yes. So, there is no case. Can I confirm the police report number for that? Mr. Lee, yes. that's what we're going to do. I'm going to have them take you back. Okay. And we'll start right. try to figure everything out, have you brought back out, and, and I'll do what I got to do. Okay. Thank All you. right. Thank you, Your Honor. You. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Pate, um, with and on behalf of Mr. Lee, who stands to my right. All right. Um, I still have to sentence him on the driving well or the operating well. So 
I just we've taken a look at it. That complaint that I put Mister in custody on had was not there was no probable cause found, and so that was not um, done. And I I'm going to say this. They knew the reason. Mr. Lee understood what, what I was doing and putting me into custody. The prosecutor's office, I think, was under, given the representation to made to this court, was under an obligation to contact this court immediately upon notification that those charges were not brought, knowing that that affected Mr. Lee's liberty. And I'm not happy that I wasn't contacted at all. Anything you want to say before I sentence him on his misdemeanor? Um, nothing further, Your Honor. I would just reiterate his request to be sentenced to time served on that misdemeanor. Fines and costs of $250. Those fines and costs are waived in their entirety. 90 days suspended on that case. With reference to his felony matters, those will continue to preliminary examination on October 8th before Judge Burke. Bond on those cases, both will be set at personal recovery. The conditions will remain. The conditions will remain. They never left. It's just they took his liberty on something that didn't get authorized. You're going to be free to go. I'm going home today. You're going to be let out, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Court's going to stand in recess. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. You're welcome. All right. The 14A District Court for County of Washington State of Michigan is now back in session. Young Judge Jay said it's to preside. Has the pros has the state prosecutor left? I think so. She needs to get back in here because I'm going back on the record on Mr. Lee. I don't know who else has that case. You may be seated, folks. Yes. At one o'clock. Yeah. I want her here because I need a message gotten to that office right away. Court is recalling the cases of the people versus Don Lee, both his felonies and his misdemeanor cases. Good morning again, Your Honor. Salani for the people. Assistant Public Defender Natalie Pay on behalf of Mr. Lee. I'm going to waive Mr. Lee's appearance because he's they took him down so he could be processed out immediately. I, but I want to make a record clear and, and know, and I realize, Ms. Lundy, you were not the one involved, but I am more than livid right I, now because I, this case, we went back and checked our records. Mr. Lee was taken into custody on the people's representation regarding the previous case. I took him into custody at 11.43 a.m. on June 26th. After having him wait here, in court, I took him into custody on that date, and it's important, at 11.43 a.m. on the 26th, there was an attempt to swear out that case that was done before Magistrate Fink less than an hour later at 12.31 p.m., where the magistrate did not find probable cause. And this court was not informed. Mr. Lee was in custody. It was another attempt made to swear out that complaint on the 30th. Again, no probable cause. It is inexcusable that the prosecutor on their representations had this court act that deprived Mr. Lee of his liberty for seven days. Inexcusable. So, Ms. Londi, again, while you are not the person that was involved in this, but has done, I will expect a call from Ms. Burton Harris regarding this matter. Yes, Your Honor. Today. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor.